previously on Suits Crafting. And these are extra tubes for the bolt action pen. And because I made these blanks in batches, I have extra blanks. So I've got this one, which is actually the cutoff from this blank. Just got to get um, these parts tapped apart and then discard this section. But I will get a new one going with that one there. So, so I think we're going to get the majority of the blue if we use this side here. So we will put our barrel on there like that. Have a little, a little overhang there. We will take our Sharpie mark with a little overhang on this side and we are just going to mark ourselves a line right there. Alright, we got this chucked up in the lathe, let's get her cut. But first I'm going to mark my end that goes into that marking there. That way I know exactly how to chuck this back up later when I have to go back and do barrel trimming. So now we'll just square off the face of this with our skew. Bring this up, center it. There we go. Put the 3 8 inch bit in for the bolt action kit. Got a good clean end on there. Good clean end on there. We're all set. Okay, so time for glue up. So we got our tight bond uh, thick glue here. We got our pre roughened brass. So let's get this uh, brass tube glued up into our new blank. Put that into here. Right, spin it back and forth. Bring it in and out. There we go. Hit it with some activator. So we got that done. Put our thick away, grab our thin. So now we got our skewer. I'm gonna dribble some thin down into the leftover gap that always seems to happen on the back side. Let me see if I can get a close-up of what exactly I'm doing here. So a drop forms on the end of the, of the skewer here. And then I just take that and I just drop it directly into the gap there. And it just gets sucked up into the into the tube. Between the, the uh, blank and the brass tube. By capillary action. There's a word for you. Word of the day. Looks like it is full and blast it or try to with some activator just to get the outside of it set and then the inside will set throughout the rest of the day. All right, there we go. I've got this blue Lumalite that I made uh, all ready to go. The glue's all set. We're gonna chuck this up here. We got our blue line here. We're gonna line up with our uh, marking that we have on our chuck. We're gonna lock that down. We already got this set up. Go in there and back it off a little bit. All right, there we go. Yep, got to do something here. Forgot to align this so that I can see the cutter head, so I can see when brass starts appearing. Got a nice clean face on there all the way around. And now we'll do the other side. There we go. Saw some brass. When I say I saw some brass, what I'm saying is I'm watching, you can see inside the shavings right there. 
focus on. There we go. You can see inside the shavings in there, there's just a little bit of brass that shows up. Down inside of there. And you can kind of see those as it goes along. That brass shows up. And then you just go a little further until you see a little bit longer brass shavings. And then you know that you have a nice, clean, trued face. Had a little speck on there, it made me into a liar. It wasn't a clean face, haha, <laughs> but it was a true face. Okay, we got our Lumalite blank all chucked up in the lathe here. We got a nice clean edge on our on our scraper, so let's get this done. This stuff is beautiful, but sure makes a darn mess. <laughs> on to sanding and polishing. Okay, here's our second blank for this uh, beautiful bolt action pen. We're going to start off with some 240 grit and uh, here we go. I have to say this Alumalite sands up just so easily. It is absolute dream to work with. Okay, on to 320. All right, on to 600. pretty good. Let's just hit it with a cloth here, kind of clean all that dust off. Let's see what we're looking at. Alright, yeah, looks like I got all those scratches out. On to the polishing. Alright, now we're going to polish from 1500 grit on a 12,000 grit on the second blank for this bolt action pen. Here we go.
And that's all polished up and now on to my favorite part. And some Dr. Kirk's scratch free. Get that in focus here. Too close, too close, back up, okay. Dr. Kirk scratch free, it's wonderful stuff. Just put some of this onto a blue shop towel, wipe it on good and thick, and then you let it sit for a second then buff it off. Grab a clean piece of cloth. Buff it off here. And that is absolutely beautiful. All right, on to assembly. Okay, we're all set up to assemble our bolt action uh, blue pearl white swirl pen here. So first thing we're going to do, which I didn't do the last time, is we're going to install this piece first. What I did the last time was I tried to install this piece first, and when I pushed that in, and then tried to push this side in, it pivoted on this small head, canted, and shot it all across the shop. So, I'm going to put this side in first, as the instructions tell you to do. I've already decided what side we're going to have be our top and bottom, off camera, we did that. And we're just going to press that in, rotate it, press it in a little further, making sure it goes in straight, drive that home, all right, we got a good fit on there, good transition, focus, thank you, now on to our top. Now we have to decide how we want our clip to sit. So my customer that is getting this really likes blue. So I think we're going to orient the blue to the right. That's, actually, you know, well, there's a nice swirl line right there. Let's just angle the clip directly at that swirl line. I think that'll make it interesting. And we will take out the medium one here. Actually, I gotta take out the big one too. Just press that in a little bit. And then we'll get a scrap piece of paper here. Fold that up and slide it in between those threads to protect them. Drive that in a little bit further. Rotate it. There we go. Let's take that section out and get more, a little more leverage on there. There we go, and that drove it home. Yep, got real good fit and finish on there. Okay, so now to put our ink. That just drops in through the hole here in the front. Our spring. Typically these will have a larger end and a smaller end. They both look the same on this one. So then we put our cap on, thread it in, and there we go. We have our bolt action pen all done. We got bolt action, pushes the ink forward. The ink sits out at a good distance there. Got a good spring action. I see that turned out quite nicely actually. I think the customer will be happy with that.
All right, and as you can see from the pictures, this pen turned out absolutely beautiful. We're going to get this packaged up and take it in and give it to our customer who's giving it as a gift to her husband. What a lucky guy to get such a beautiful pen. Check out those swirls that came through there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Thanks so much for joining me out in the shop. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and hit that subscribe button right there in the center of your screen so you can be notified whenever we've got new videos coming out. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for joining me out here in the shop. This is Suits Crafting signing out.